we're tying up the simplest steelhead jig to go use right now for summer steelhead. I'm gonna show you something extremely awesome today and all you need is six items. A portable vise, a pair of scissors, super glue, thread and bobbin. This is 210 denier. Some yarn. This is some white UV bug yarn. Jig head of choice. I recommend these maxi jigs from Yakima Bait. And then your chenille, a couple dollars for whatever color you want. But we are gonna make a reverse nightmare color and it's gonna be killer. So stay tuned. All right, so you got your jig head in the vise. You're gonna cut off around a one inch piece of that bug yarn. You got a base layer of thread on and you are gonna go ahead and lay it on the shank. I basically cut it about the shank length and then move it up a little bit. So you have roughly half an inch that extends past the bend of the hook. Now what I'm doing here is I am allowing for that yarn to wrap around the shank of the hook and create a really nice tail section. This is the simplicity of the jig. It's literally locking down a good thread and allowing for that tail to get in place with the yarn. You're now gonna take your chenille and be able to now tie in the body section. The chenille is just a uh, type of material that allows for building up a body and the color. And with this, the simplicity comes as well. Very easy, just wrapping these tight wraps next to each other and allowing for you to build the body up. So I like tying it in at the head to start the body and then work your way to the tail and back. And that way it's a seamless look um, and allows for a really nice profile presentation to build up. So just finishing here on putting that body together and then you're just gonna wrap the material and tie it off. This is again, as basic of a steelhead jig as you can. I chose here to pop that. Um, you can take scissors and cut that excess off as I'm gonna do here. Um, but yeah, it straightforward. Um, probably one of the easiest steelhead jigs that you can tie up is a yarn and chenille jig. And they are super effective. They represent just about as anything to imitate as you can and uh, very simple you can add shrimp to it you can fish it by itself they are really effective and the only thing left to add to that once you have the jig is you can start now playing with the tail to fluff it up it creates a great profile on the jig and it holds that profile in the water a drop of super glue and this bad boy is ready to hit the water and then there's your finished product. So then we got our basic float set up. I wanted to show you a way that I have chosen of late and really prefer now to rig all of my jigs up with. And that is using a small loop knot. And I will link down in the video what this is because there's a lot of great videos out there. But the reason for it is a non-slip loop knot allows for the jig itself to really be able to flow naturally in the water it keeps a horizontal presentation but there's a small hinge point that that jig will be able to move naturally when you tie a jig directly to the main line or your leader you end up getting a point where there is no movement in that jig it's just fishing horizontal or whatever way the knot is pointed and you are not going to be able to really get much movement out of the jig unless the water is moving the float up and down so this knot is a very popular knot for other applications but i think not used as much in the float fishing world so as always important here um, you want to put some saliva on your knot. The saliva really is key to making sure that you don't burn that knot. And so your ending result there is a small little profile loop and you can make them bigger or smaller dependent on how big that tag end is. But roughly, you know, quarter to half inch is where I put that loop as best as possible. And 
you'll see here as I kind of hold it in place, I cut the tag off in, but then when you hold it in place, that jig is going to have the ability to rock. Now, see how it sits there. You can fish that thing in the water and it's going to naturally go with the current. So a fish is going to see that it's going to be more realistic, I believe. It's not going to be something that sits there stationary and floats by them. While you get reactionary strikes out of this, I really feel this is a way to get more fish. If you want to see fishing a jig like this for steelhead, check out the video playing above. Fish on!